Photoshop masks. What are they and why do I care? Rob Baldwin here, IMX Productions, and today we're looking at Photoshop layer masks. What are they? Now, we're gonna jump right in. Okay, so here I got uh, two images. We've got one image of a bird here, and on top we have an image of my, a picture of my dog. Okay, so two, two layers, two images, one over the other. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here, we're gonna add a layer mask. This is a mask. Okay, now, what a mask is, technically, is a monochromatic layer, so it's a black and white layer, and whatever you draw on that layer affects the opacity, affects the transparency of that layer. So, if you draw black, it will be invisible to the layer behind it. If you draw white, it will be opaque. And of course, this also works for all shades of, all shades of, of gray. So, if you're putting gradients in there, then you're going to have a faded edge to the layer behind it. This is very useful. I use this all the time. Whenever I'm compositing any kind of image, I use a lot of masks. Okay, so back in. Okay, so we've created a layer, uh, a mask on the dog layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold Option or Alt, and I can click and I can see the layer as, as a layer. Now, usually you wouldn't see this in the final image, but now, now if I grab a brush and I draw little black dots everywhere, I'm drawing this on the mask. Okay, so I click back on the dog, and look, as you can see, where I drew those black dots, it's invisible to the, um, the layer below. Look at that. Okay, now if I drop the hardness, see, I can also draw some faded, um, faded, I can even drop the opacity, do some faded uh, marks, and it's, you know, as you can see, we've got like a feathered edge, or we've got a half invisible to the back, uh, to the other layer. Pretty cool stuff. What we're doing right now is kind of ugly, so we're just going to get rid of that <laughs> and let's start over. Now, what we could do, click on that layer. Make sure you're always selecting the layer before you start drawing. You don't want to be drawing on the main layer, you want to be drawing on the mask. Okay, so we're going to up the opacity and we're just going to draw around. Obviously, if you were properly selecting this, you would use the selection tool and go around. But I'm just showing you how you can basically uh, remove the background okay and you can just draw around and you know you can you can make your layer partially invisible to the background now we can also apply filters basic filters to the mask layer so a blur layer right here I can apply blur and it blurs out the the color so that affects the the mask okay we're gonna delete that mask here okay what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to do a selection a selection and then apply a mask to your selection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the magnetic lasso tool. I'm gonna to speed forward here because we're just going to move around and select the bird. So speed forward. Okay, so zoom out here. We've made our nice selection. We're gonna do a, a, a feather, usually a feather of one, just so the edge is not super rough. Do a one point feather on my selection. And then all I do is I hit the mask button and then it basically creates that mask around the selection that I just made. So just the bird is selected, we can then move him around, make him smaller, make him kind of seem like he's in the photo, but doesn't work out all that well. But, uh... okay, so hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit. Those are Photoshop layer masks. That's how they work. It's just a monochromatic layer. Whatever you draw on the mask or whatever you select and remove from that mask, treat it like a regular layer, but it's black and white and that controls the transparency of the layer. Okay, so one thing I like to do is whenever I'm, if I'm, uh, if I'm selecting a, a person or a photograph, any kind of thing I'm selecting, I'm not a fan of deleting the background. If you select, the, select it and you wanna remove it and put it into another photo, a lot of people will select, hit delete. The problem with that is then it's gone. Um, by masking it out, if you ever have to go back, make changes, alter the alter the uh, the mask or alter the selection in any way, if you've deleted the background, it's gone. Yes, you've got your history palette, but if you've done thousands and thousands of, of actions, the history palette only goes so far. So I'm a huge fan of masking as opposed to deleting. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. And the next tutorial, I'm going to the next one. I'm going to show you guys how to do some really fancy selecting using masks. And now we're going to select really complicated hair. So whenever you take a picture and you've got someone with 
spiky hair or just frilly hair and you want to really select uh, all that detail out of the background it can be incredibly complicated but I've got a trick on how to do that so stay tuned for the next tutorial and I'm going to show you how to do that okay I uh, hope you enjoyed that please comment below if you're not subscribed hit subscribe hit that bell and get notified when we have new videos okay comment below we will see you next time cheers